move in. Since we have another package, this will be another unboxing video. <laughs> I'm aware that last video was also an unboxing video and I ordered that package that I unboxed but this one, I didn't order this one this should contain a lot of different tarantulas that some of you, some of you subscribers ordered for the Dark Den from the Spider's World so let's open it and I don't really know what are all the tarantulas inside of this package I'm aware of some species but not most of them I believe and just so we know in advance we will have another communal setup <laughs> <laughs> yep, another one. Here is the here is the note so I know what I got from who I got. Damn. Damn. Okay, this will be interesting. I didn't expect that this unboxing will have this crazy turn. You will see why in a moment. First of all, there should be a lot of them inside. And I assume all of them are slings. Yeah, you see all small wiles and this is a lot of small wiles <laughs> 1, 2, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18 tarantulas in total and some of these species are oh, just wait a bit so I can organize <laughs> I will put this aside these are the communal setup. One, two, three, four, five. Some of these species I will need to Google these because I'm not familiar with them. Remove this and this. This will be super interesting. These are from Besim Baleki, I believe. That's how you pronounce it, from Belgium. And one of these species is you you will see. It. You will see. It. These are from Dimitri Weigming from Netherlands and these are from Jared Dorn, he's from US and these are the only ones that I was aware of that I'm getting and what exactly I'm getting these not so much now how to approach this should we first go straight to communal setup but let me just check how big they are okay just a second it looks like it is finally time for me to use this enclosure. If you remember, I received this and the other one from subscriber in St. Louis. Actually, subscribers, if I remember correctly, but there's a guy and a girl and they actually customize this. You see, they make holes and you also get additional stuff like cork barks and substrate and everything. And they sell this. I will write their information down here somewhere so you can check them out if you, if you need these enclosures. And I'm aware that they attend it to be used like this, but I will actually use it like this. I prefer it like this. Since these aren't avicularis, if I had avicularia I would definitely use it like this because you know avicularias they web on top the only problem is there are already ventilation holes here but I would just tape them over with some tape that I don't have at this very moment substrate there we go perfect little enclosure for who you will see it in a second Pezzoteria Metallica yep Jared ordered five Metallicas and that means we will have first pokey Oh, look it down there. First pokey communal setup with Metallicas. Oh, Ooh, but you know, they are bolty, so I need to be careful. I need, <laughs> I need to avoid those bolts. Ketchup set the ready. And let's do this. Hopefully without any crazy shenanigans. Hey, little buddy. I have, I have a nice cork bark for you. Yeah, just go down. Perfect. Second one. Ooh, this one is already on top of the lid. Can you like not do that, please? Come out and join your body. No, no, no. Ugh. Just relax. There. Just don't do anything stupid, please. Stay there. I would appreciate that. This one is also on the move already inside of the inside of the cup. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> already webbing. <laughs> already starting to web up. <laughs> Look at them. That's your brother. Really? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Get a pokey communal, they said. It will be fun, they said. Can you just go down, please? Look, he fell on his he fell on his back. As he tried to climb here, he just fell. <laughs> no 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 please. Oh no, oh no. 
I don't like this. Where is the undo button? What did I get myself into? Can you like stop? Third one. Just go in the freaking cork bark. It's dark inside. Why do you need to? Look at him. Just go in the cork bark. It's not that hard. This one is still on its back. That's one way to take care of it. Thank you. It finally went inside of the cork bark. Yep. Like a boss. Yeah. Come on. Come on, little guy. Yes. That's cork bark. And you can hide inside. Are you hiding? I don't know, but let's deal with, the, with this one. What is your problem, man? Hello? Are you alright? Oh. Yeah, he is. That was just a bluff. Come on, let's do this. I don't have the whole night. And I'm still struggling with first three slings. Look, it's already ready to bolt outside. I'll just... No. Flawless. Can you, like, not be so ready to bolt outside, please? And look at this one. Okay. Okay, okay, let it go. Let it go. Calmly. Just be calm. Yeah, web it around, that's your new house and don't, don't bolt like crazy. Just please, whatever you do, just don't bolt like crazy. Last one, come on, let's do the last one and let's close it off. I really didn't expect that this will be such a hassle. Let's go, last one. Yes. Lid, lid, lid. Ah, yes. Woo, we did it. First enclosure. Let's just check if all of them are inside. So one, two, three, four, and the last one. And the last one is in fact inside. Can I see it? Yeah, there it is on the bottom of the cork bark. Nice, nailed it. First enclosure, down. Now let's carry on to the rest. These two are also from Jared. This first one is Psalpeus Victory. And the second one is one cool species, Xenestis species Megascoptula. This is going to be my first Xenestis and yeah, let's celebrate that. First to check how big it actually is. Oh, it actually molted in transit. Whoa. I don't know when this camera stopped. I just noticed that it stopped now. So uh, I don't know. Xenestis species can be bolty, right? I'm not really sure because as I said, I never had them, but I guess we are going to Figure it out really quickly. Maybe it will be a bit too big for this enclosure, but I don't know. Hey, hey, hello, you wanna come outside? Ooh. <laughs> come on, let go the... Oh, there we go. Look at it, freshly molted and so leggy. <laughs> so much leg, what is up with that little guy? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And thankfully it molted safely in transit. That can be risky, but we were lucky. We were lucky indeed. Okay, let's... No, no, no. That is wrong way. Please, move your legs. Move your long legs. I don't want to, to pinch them. Yeah. Thank you. And this is the last one from Jared. As you see, it is already on lid. Hopefully I will be able to get it out safely. As you know, some pairs can be bolty. So... Oh. Okay, but it seems that it is manageable. <laughs> Look, oh, oh, no, 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 no. We had nice close-ups. Nice close-ups, check. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, little guy, we need more close-ups. Uh, there we go. As you see, he's really pretty and kind of different than the other Psalpeo slings. Let's, let's put him inside of his enclosure. I see that battery is blinking on this camera. I hope that it won't die now. No. Ah, come on, little guy. No, 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 no. That's not how we talked about this. Little bolter. Yes, there you go. It's nice and cozy inside. Let me just change the battery. Always the worst timing. I hope that this little guy will be happy in his new enclosure. And I'm actually really happy about these species because, yeah, they are they are kind of rare and really, really pretty some pairs. You will see once it grows. They are really, really nice. Now for these, they are from, from Dimitri from Netherlands. And there is a lot of species there. I noticed that some of these already have them, but some species I don't have females. So it is not such a big deal, although these four I have and these four I don't have. Omotimo siete, I have a sling and 
If you're wondering why my hands are so dirty, I was mixing substrate for this video because I ran out of substrate so I had to mix a new batch. That's why my hands are dirty. Tapinohenius violatius, you know I have a beautiful female, she already made two XX, two phantom XX and erased her from the sling. But maybe this will be a male, so once we raise him we'll have some haba haba time. Heteroscondra maculata, I have a female and she's still inside of my apartment. <laughs> she's still inside of that hanging enclosure. And also I have a sling, so this one will also increase the chance to get a female. It's another problem, more tarantulas are not a problem, but for all of you that plan to order something for the dark den, soon, I know that I've been saying this for a year, but soon I will have a webshop with merchandise and also on that webshop you will be able to find a complete list of all animals inside of the dark den. So that way if you want to order some slings, you can check there and see which one I don't have and then you can decide what you want to order. That is coming soon, so now I need a bunch of enclosures. Let's start with this Reduncus. I can see that it seems to be a relatively large... Hey, you, oh, he's in a thread posture. Hello, hello, a tarantula that is not in a great mood, you see? Can you like please stop with the thread posture? So mad, why you have to be mad? <laughs> Ah, she's not that big. She appeared a bit bigger. She... Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to have a mad tarantula on my hand. Please not... No. Catch up. What are your iten... Nice try, buddy. No can do. Even though you have... Whoa. You have really, really pretty abdomen. Nice. The one that I have is smaller than this, so i never seen their abdomen in person like this. Let's carry on. I just hope that I will have enough, enough enclosure. Oh, but I need to remove this. Yes. I just hope that I will have enough enclosures for all of these. Tapinohenius violatius. Let's see how big she is. Ah, she's small one, but bolty, bolty. Need enclosure. Bolty and bitey. They really aren't shy to bite. At least my female is like that. She's already picking. I just need to, I just need to be quicker than her. No, no, come on. It's okay. It's... Yes. Yes. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> that is how you do it. There she is, all safe and sound. Very nice. Next tarantula. Maculata. Yeah, we also need this for maculata. It is down there. Speed demon. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's handle this smart. Come out, come out wherever you are. Come on, in the cup. Nah, no, not like that. Come on, in the... You little father, go in the... Yes, 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 yes. That's more like it. <laughs> Got it? I managed to outsmart her. <laughs> Let's move on. Who do we have now? Oh, another crazy Asian. Siete. Do I really need this in my life? Oh, let's go. Nice. No, no, no. She doesn't seem too bad, but still. Oh, yes, here is the fuzziness. Nice and secure. This will be painful. Mm -hmm. She's small, so this enclosure will do. And I want to use the the, f the foolproof method, but unfortunately, I don't have don't have the right paper for it. So I will need to like use this. You need like a hard paper for this method to work correctly, but I will need to manage with what I have. I really don't want to lose this one. And you know, Hilobrahis, you can easily lose them. Well, this method will prevent that. So we just need this. You see down there you can see the tarantula. We need this. And now I just poke her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, no, go back. Go back. Go back. Oh. Woo! Okay, this is already starting to have a bad turn. Whew. That is why I said that you need strong paper. Okay, now I need you to go back. Yeah, inside of the... No! No! Inside of the hole. Back, yes. <sighs> okay. Too stressful, too stressful. The bolter is already bolting. 
<laughs> but the boltiness won't help you now. <laughs> I believe that these species will get big and black. Yeah, that's what. Oh, I'm pretty sure. But yet now you see she is tiny, tiny, small thing. Next tarantula. First of all, Pelma in dark den. How cool is that? Yeah, I know that it is crazy that we still don't have a Fonopelma here, but we don't and this will be the first one. Let's see this cute little guy where it is. Ah, here we go. There she is. Can I zoom it in? She just looks like any other sling, nothing special, but yeah, first a Fonopelma. Awesome. Want to go in your new enclosure? <laughs> there we go. Doop, 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 doop. Sweet. Need to Google to see how this species actually looks when it's all grown up. I have no idea. Now what is this? Diplora sanguiana. I need to Google this because I don't know if this is even a tarantula. Oh, I see. It is not a tarantula, but it is a spider similar like a linotele. Oh, I need this tiny. So I assume that it webs a lot and you can see that it already webbed inside a lot. So <laughs> yeah, with time we will figure out how this little guy behaves and I'm not sure how bulky it is but since it's so small I don't think at least I hope that it cannot run like super fast you see similar like Linotella it got really long spinnerets in you go little buddy <laughs> there we go we will see how much it will chill 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 close it off oh okay it's fine we will see how much it will web overnight and the last one from Dimitri, is it Dimitri? Yeah, yeah, Dimitri. Also, I have no idea, I will need to Google that. <laughs> Catumiria argentunensis. Hmm. Oh, this is actually a tarantula, I have never heard about these genus, but they are from South America, more precisely Chile, Argentina and Uruguay. Uruguay, how do you pronounce that? And it is also another tiny, tiny one. You see, so, so small. <laughs> go, go, little guy. In you go, this is your new house. You have a lot of substrate so you can dig and do whatever you want. One close-up. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it is a tarantula right away. Now we are done with all of these that are from Dimitri. And the last ones are from Besim. So let's see what he sent us. I mean what he ordered for us. This is actually one really, really cool species. I have seen it on the pictures a lot and I always thought like, oh, this is so sweet. And now Here's one. You can Google the picture so you can see it for yourself. But oh, even the sling looks really, really nice. Look at it. Nice. Oh, bolty, bolty. Oh, oh. Just small bolts. And now she's strolling. But I see that her back leg, I mean, not back leg, third leg from her left side, she's like dragging it, you see? Yeah, she's definitely not using that leg correctly. Oh. <laughs> Or is she? Now I can no longer tell. She does walk a bit weird with it. At least it appeared at first. Yeah, you see, this one, it is definitely curled up weirdly. Hmm, let's get her in. Go, go. In you go. Make yourself at home. <laughs> nice. Next one? No idea. Lipis to species or natus. Let's Google that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. sweet! But first I need to change this battery because it will die any second now. I've been recording this video for a long, long, long time now. Hello? Oh, I see it, I see it. We will need a lot of substrate for this because this is a trapdoor spider. Oh, yes! Another first one in the dark den. We never had a trapdoor spider here, so this will be awesome. I believe trapdoors cannot really climb well. But I don't know how big they are. I mean, I mean how bolted they are. So let's just get it outside. Oops. Sorry for the roller coaster. Hello? Hello? Are you okay? What is your mood, little buddy? Oh yeah, it looks like trapdoor spider. Come on. Move, move in. Oh, no, no, no. Move in. <laughs> Whoa, they can bolt. Okay. Okay. They can bolt. Round two, go down on the sub, thank you. Oh, that scared me. That really scared me, hello. Welcome to the dark den, I like your, your abdomen and oh, check it out. I need a macro lens. Can you see its heartbeat on the abdomen? Yeah, I bet you can because I can see it in the viewfinder. 
awesome you can actually see that on tarantulas when they are freshly molted or when they are like super small slings so i guess this is the same case with this trapdoor spider hello little buddy i hope that you will have a great time here you see behind you you can find a starter burrow so you can start digging and make a great trapdoor for yourself we are counting on that, right? <laughs> okay, this was really awesome. But now the last tarantula. For majority of you, it will be the most exciting. For me, actually, I really don't know what is the what is my favorite addition out of all of these. Oh, it bolted a bit. I don't know which is the my favorite addition. I have a couple of favorites, but I won't name them. But this one. This last one. We don't need that plastic thing because I know how to handle this species. But first I need uh, enclosure. It is one species that we had in the dark den. But unfortunately it died relatively quickly. And we were really really sad about it. And I was really bummed because it was really really sweet and rare species. And I had no idea why it happened. I was convinced that I did everything, everything as I should and that it shouldn't die. But it did. Thankfully I heard that a lot of more experienced keepers than myself, they also randomly lost this species. So even though I'm not happy because they lost the species, but I felt a bit better because I knew that it wasn't because I didn't kept it correctly. Yeah, I need some sphagnum moss and some cracked up leaf litter. By now you can see that this is really specific enclosure and you probably can already guess which species we have. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another Celadonia in the house. Oh yes, as you know, I haven't had any plans of getting this species again, just because how apparently fragile they are. But it looks like now I don't have a choice, right? <laughs> oh, oh, chill, chill, hey, hey, hey. No bolts, please, no bolts. Because I really don't want to lose this one, that would suck a lot. So let's get it inside of the enclosure. We have left the top lid over there, but I think that it will be fine. Go in, tiny guy. Go. Bloop, bloop. Go, explore. <gasps> top lid. Still here? Yeah, it's still here. As you know, this species is beautiful, even though it is super, super tiny now. When it grows, it won't be much larger, but the coloration is crazy. Nice. Please, please, whatever you do, just don't die on me. You can do whatever you want, but only stay alive. Now we have a lot of cross ventilation and everything. So please just hold on, like all the other tarantulas around you. Hold on. <sighs> awesome. Special shout out once again to Basim, Dimitri and Jared. It is crazy that you enjoy videos so much that you are prepared to order tarantula like this. For me, species like this one or Metallica Communal and Xenestis, those are really expensive species. I cannot say thank you enough, but I will enjoy them. And also all of you that are watching these videos, you will also have a chance to enjoy them. <sighs> okay, I'm super happy to have Saladonia once again. But now again, every time I come here, I will be just is it fine? Is it fine? Oh, it is still fine. Is it fine? Is it fine? Oh, that is how it was when I had the first one. It was really stressful. Now, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!